Hi, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Kathy Curtis. I'm the Executive Director of Clean and Healthy New York. And I have here with me today, Assemblyman Felix Ortiz, the Assistant Speaker of the New York State Assembly. And uh, it's been 50 years since the, since the first Earth Day when people across the United States came together to fight for a healthier world. And now more than ever, people are relying on the natural world as a source of calm and health. Um, Felix, can you share what Earth Day means to you? Well, Earth Day uh, for me is about uh, how can we take ownership and responsibility of our environment and on our uh, uh, areas, or our communities, our neighborhood. How can we uh, live a better place for our children and our grandchildren? How can we maintain uh, our waters, our precious resources uh, in place uh, for our future generation? So when I, uh, when I hear about uh, Hearst Day, uh, I really think about uh, what can we do together to ensure that we can bring awareness that we can have people to be responsible and also have ownership and appreciate our precious resources. So it is very important to continue to emphasize that the only, the only way that we will be able to make a difference is if we take action. And those actions has to be considered based on what kind of ownership I would like to have regarding my environment. And that is what Hearst Day is to me. Thank you, thank you. Very well put. Uh, now you've been an environmental justice and health champion yourself for many years. Uh, what environmental policy are you the most proud of? And what would you like to do next to build on that success? Well, let, let, me, let me just say that uh, I was uh, so proud when I first introduced a legislation to ban plastic back in the New York State Assembly probably 20 years ago, and mm -hmm. people laughed in my face. And today it's become to be a reality. Yeah. Uh, and I'm very, very pleased and proud to say that even though never became a law those days, was a conversation and was a debate that got developed as a result of that bill uh, that I introduced back then, uh, which uh, make me so proud because I was be, I was getting blasted about it, and uh, people were saying, "Yeah, you're crazy. What are you talking about? You know, that's going to hurt uh, the dry cleaner. That's going to hurt so many people." But in reality, I was uh, I was looking from the other angle how uh, the plastic one is get to the water, one is get to the environment, mm -hmm. is killing our species in the in the in the ocean. How is killing our birds? So I was thinking out of the box. And that, and that brought me uh, to, to also to think about back in 1977 when I did the first fusion of solar energy paper for my high school. And why it was so important for us to address solar energy? <laughs> so I never thought that I would be elected. And then I'm talking about plastic bag. I'm talking about toxic toys with lead mm. uh, making in other country. And putting a fight to all this, and people say to me, Phyllis, are you crazy? None of this is going to happen. Well, today I'm sitting back watching everything and watching the governor signing bills and watching that my effort was now, what never went on, on vain. So legislators had it to go back and say to themselves, wow, Phyllis was right. And I'm very happy to see all this unbelling legislation that is happening uh, today it took them 20 years to get, to get this done. But, but, you know, eventually people began to realize how important it is to take our environment seriously. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So what do you plan to do next? Well, a couple of things. Number one, I think that we need to talk about uh, renewable energy. We need to talk about resiliency. We need to talk about uh, jobs and jobs within the area of renewable and solar energy as well as wind energy. You know, this is the job of today. It is the job of the future. So in order for us to really begin to unveil everything that we have done in Albany, everything that the governor has put in place, you know, we need financial resources to train our future generation to deal 
with the same thing that we're talking about. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it is important that we now are driving the vehicle, but we need to make sure that the drivers have the skills necessary to fit their own vehicle. Sure. So we need to make sure that we move forward. The other thing that, that I'm working very close is about, about uh, the Fossil Fuel Disbestment Act. I think we need to begin to take, uh, to take a, a public pension fund uh, from companies that are continue to pollute our communities, our neighborhood, and also to make them responsible to pay back those neighborhoods that has been impacted mm -hmm. by their, by their ne negligence. So it is my, it is my, my, my hope that we, we, we can continue to unveil this piece of legislation because it's been supported by hundreds of thousands of uh, c countries around the world. And also our city controller has managed to jump into it and the mayor of the city of New York and other localities. So I think that people know that rather than call me that Felix is crazy, it's not going to happen. Uh, they should begin to now to realize that everything that Philly has managed to say in the past <laughs> has begin, people begin to catch up in the future. And I don't think we have enough space for the future. We need to act now. And I think this is the perfect timing, especially with this pandemic. Uh, you, know, I, I, uh, you know, I was reading the paper and with the pandemic, uh, Venice, for example, the, 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 the waters have been clean. You're yeah. beginning to see new species coming back to Venice. Mm -hmm. You're beginning to see how China, Beijing, for example, the air is beginning to be less polluted. So it's, you know, from something negative impacting completely negative to our, our globe, it's begun to give us a clear message that is up to us as a human being. How are we going to live and how are we going, those of us in leadership position, live our global environment for our future in a better place. Thank you. Well said, very eloquently put. I think that uh, that kind of innovation that you're looking at, it will be good for the uh, planet and its people and the economy as well. So uh, and we're going to do it to together. Felix. The message I'm taking away is listen to Felix, listen to Assemblyman Ortiz because He's got the eye on the future. Okay, thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. And happy Earth Day. And thank you to you. God bless. Keep it green.